Hello and welcome to the Iron Sky Signal. First, it's the news. Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the Iron Sky Signal news. Uh, we are here in the studio with Samuli Torsson, the producer of Iron Sky. Hello. And here is Timo Vuoresola, the director of Iron Sky. Hello, Samuli, take it away. There are many different foundations and funds in Europe that are keeping the film industry alive. We just got a word that the Iron Sky film production has just received additional development support from the Finnish Film Foundation and also from Nordisk Film and TV Fund. For the casting news, um, I've been traveling between uh, back and forth uh, Germany and Finland and trying to find the best cast for Iron Sky. I've been going through tens of actors in Germany and uh, meeting with them, doing little test shoots with some of them. And finally we've settled down to the one main role and also we have a lot of options for other roles. Right now we cannot reveal you any names because we haven't signed any deals but as soon as we can we will so stay tuned with Iron Sky Signal so I'm not the star in this film I'm sorry Samuel you will not be starring in the film yeah <laughs> maybe next star wreck <laughs> <laughs> okay on the pre-production side uh, what I've been doing is I've been drawing cartoons a lot with our uh, director of photography Mika Orasma and our uh, uh, concept artist Jussi Lehtiniemi. What storyboarding means, it means that we kind of disassemble the script into lo smaller scenes and we draw them each out so that we're able to see what kind of camera, camera movement we need, we need there or what kind of other stuff we're going to need like CGI and that kind of stuff. As you know, Iron Sky teaser was launched last spring and uh, but for some reason there has been a major delay in releasing the full HD version. Uh, the funny thing is that actually there is no reason for this delay. Uh, and now uh, it's there. <laughs> it has been ready since summer 2008. Okay, I think that's all for the news. And next we're gonna take a little look at the energy office here in Tampere. So this is the field report. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. I am your beautiful hostess for the day. Um, so here we have artist at work. Okay, you see. You see, is our concept designer. You see, uh, we've been asked by somebody that to remove the uh, swastikas from this one picture. You see, if it's okay, if you if you could if you could remove this, uh, you, mean, you mean this swastika? Uh, let's just swap it to Leibach symbol. I think it's. I, I, I have a feeling. Such a nice it. idea. Oh, that's good. It's yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yes, I appreciate my own ideas. <laughs> they won't be removed from the final film. Hello everybody and welcome to the Q&A section of Iron Sky Signal. In this section we answer your questions which you have been posting to our website or sending us emails or whatever you, you preferred. Now first question, Samuli, uh, Joel Mation, a guy called Joel Mation, would like to know what kind of a fleet does Earth have in 2018? That's a good question. Uh, if you have been following Wrecker Movie, you might have noticed that we have a, 
a little bit more futuristic ships in mind that would first come to mind if you think only 2018 but uh, uh, but it's still in development. Uh, we need some, well, big ships uh, in in order to have a great space battle. Uh, what you can do is actually log into www.recmovie.com and join the production of the Earth fleet pretty uh, easily by yourself. So if you have some sort of an idea, what kind of a fleet should the Nazis have against them when they are arriving to Earth, your ideas are very welcome. Laurentius uh, would like to know, are we expecting any troubles concerning German distribution given the film's concept? That's a good question. Most people have been asking that and and uh, I, I would be lying if I would say uh, that no, there's no problems in there, but I think we're ha handling them pretty well. The story itself is, is very much anti-Nazi, if you will, and uh, and also we are not mocking anything deliberately other than Nazis themselves. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> I'm lying here a lot. We are mocking everybody. <laughs> yeah. But then again, we're mocking them equally, so nobody's getting, everybody's getting their fair share. Nakazant was asking if Iron Sky is going to be much more serious than in the Pirkinning. Yes, we are going to have more realistic characters, uh, they act like human beings, they have <laughs> flaws. Well, in Star Trek they had also flaws, but, but you know what I mean, you know? <laughs> no, Pirk was perfect. Yeah, we have re some real, real character development here, uh, and, um, and maybe some crying, crying scenes, because in Star Trek <laughs> they were impossible. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we did try, we failed. It was terrible. <laughs> Dizep Spam <laughs> is wondering <laughs> what kind of spacecraft Nazis uh, have been using when traveling to the moon. Well, uh, the Nazi fleet, uh, the main ship for the Nazi fleet, is actually based on the Haunebu models, which they did, of course. They did build those, and they did travel to moon with those, mm -hmm. but they have been evolving from that. So, so uh, they took the Honeybee models, and uh, they have had 73 years of, of kind of possibility to work on the models. So it's like Honeybee 10 or something like that that they, that they are using. But the basic kind of uh, structures and you know the basic uh, uh, components are the same, but they look much different, and, and actually they look. Like pretty, <laughs> they look pretty evil. Uh, suddenly, that's actually an important question. Salmar eight zero asked about CGI production team for Iron Sky, and his question is: Are we really going to do all the uh, special effects at the Energy office with just a couple of guys in just one year of post production? Uh, actually, we did some calculations, and uh, the special effects of Iron Sky would require me to work about seven years total no weekends no holidays me alone seven years well that cannot be done nobody can do seven years of work no joka on selitykset keksitty kova levy hajusi meillä oli leffa valmiina mutta kova levy hajus tässä vaiheessa on vielä vitsi so if if you think you would like to be part of Iron Sky CGI team. Uh, uh, contact us, Anna, and we'll see what happens. Indeed. And Timo, Murikov, Muri, Murikov, 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 Murikov is asking about this Hans Kammler, uh, whose photo he spotted on our teaser. Uh, how important will his ro role be in, in Iron Sky? Hans Kammler is uh, mentioned in the backstory of Iron Sky, which is also readable from ironsky.net, our website. But in addition to that, uh, he will not be present in the film at all. So this is not a story or uh, biography or anything of Iron Sky. So uh, I mean, of, of Hans Kammler. So he won't be seen there. Um, okay, thanks for the questions, everybody. Yeah, good uh, questions once again. And
keep those questions coming and uh, and we'll try to answer what we can. We're gonna post right now to the screen a list of places where you can drop questions and uh, we will be answering to them in Iron Sky Signal so go over over to these places or write email to these places and uh, and uh, drop your questions and we'll be answering them directly in the next Iron Sky Signal. But that's it for now. Thank you everybody. And that's also everything for the Iron Sky Signal this time. And we'll be back to you as soon as we are able to manage to get this <laughs> next signal done. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. In internet, you fail fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>